before I start this video, I just want to give you guys a little something. How satisfying is that? We're gonna be meeting up with a few friends for a photo shoot tonight since Josh has his Evo out, I have the Z out, and these cars look really good together. So we're gonna go for a little bit of a photo shoot and hang out with some friends and just have a good time. If you are a fellow Z owner, you know when you're driving your Z, you gotta turn off the bitch switch right here. Make sure this light is shining bright right there, and you know you're gonna have a good time. And Josh's Evo just looks so clean rolling. Holy. I'm glad he went a different route with his Evo compared to mine. Alright, so we're out here with all the guys' cars. Ken's STI, my Z, Josh's Evo, Jay's Subaru uh, WRX, Braden's Integra, <laughs> and then Ethan's Hypar. Oh Always wanted to drive one of these cars. It looks so sick. Not sure if the camera can pick it up. Yeah, I can kind of pick it up, but yeah, it's oh, it's overlaid and everything. This thing looks so sick. I'm not a huge fan of purple cars, but this looks so sick. I actually really like this color. It's kind of like bluish purple. Now we're gonna head out and go to the old Target and take some pictures over there. So all the all-wheel drive cars are gonna line up and kind of take this picture here that we found on Instagram. It looks really cool. I don't know, it's kind of looking like it now. We got the colors down. We're kind of going for like this one or this one. I think it's starting to come to shape. Okay, okay, this is looking pretty good. I like this. How's it going? Yeah, I'm all tight. Yeah. Yeah, we're just taking pictures. Is that okay? Uh, okay, but how long? Sorry? How long do you want to start? Oh, we're just wrapping up. We have another location we're going to head to probably like 20 minutes or so. Oh, okay. Sure, yeah. nice. Take care, buddy. Have drive safe. I kind of want to show you guys a little something that's dear to my heart. <laughs> oh shit, that looks really good, man. That looks good. I really like that. It looks nice and a little darker, honestly. We're taking pictures over here and this Z shows up. No idea who it is. Gotta go check it out. Yo. Yo, you just go in? Yeah, just go in front of him. Yeah, 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 just in front of him. Like facing the same way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there, holy fuck. <laughs> Pretty fucking close, but yo. Holy shit. Oh, you can see yeah. yeah, you're good. Yeah, lights on. Shit. Dude, that, that Z is fucking insane. It looks yeah, sick, it man. Cool. Damn, look at that. It looks so sick. Sheesh.
All right, so right now we are headed out to another location. The last location was pretty cool. That guy Z was awesome. I really like the color. It's actually, if you guys didn't know, that was actually a wrap. It's like Nardo gray with like a pink reddish pearl to it. It's such a crazy looking wrap. It looks really, really cool. And I did, I, at first I thought it was paint, but it was super cool. Have a mini photo shoot with the dude. Um, if you're watching this, keep it up. That build is awesome. But like I said, we're gonna hit another location and take some more pictures and uh, just hang out with the guys and have a good time. So Josh actually has never ever turned on turned off traction control and turned on launch control on the Evo. So I'm gonna show him how, how to do it. So you're gonna press the ASC, the traction control button that right there. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna press it and then hold until you hear a ding. There okay. you go. So that's when you it. hear the ding and you see like the, the car like drifting in the center, <laughs> yeah, that's uh it's off. And then you put it into first, clutch in, and then just floor it. <laughs> How do you like that? How do you like that? From the last clip, we had basically all the summer cars out. And because it's Winnipeg, as you can tell here, this is what happened overnight. Basic, Basically overnight. Look how much snow there is here. And as probably you can tell, all of these cars here and my Z are on my summer tires, my drift spares. So let's see how the Z does in the snow on drift spares. Just to show you guys and to prove you guys, like these tires, even on summer, we don't have a lot of grip. This is basically worn all the way down. Um, the fronts are, are a lot better though, but this ones at the back are just terrible. We got a massive freaking gap here. Look at that. So let's go ahead and take all the snow off and see how Pikachu does in the snow. Oh, it's cold. All right, guys. So I just dropped off my dad at work, and it's really, really fucking sketchy. Drift spares. If you are not used to driving a rear-wheel drive during the winter, it is not advisable <laughs> because I am literally driving on ice on summer tires wherever I go. It is so, so sketchy. Anyways, let's go ahead and go for a little drive, and hopefully, this camera angle can kind of show you guys how what what it would be like to drive a car like this in the winter on summer tires but um, anyway just go ahead and get to it yeah you see like here like, I'm spinning a lot Ooh, geez. of course I have to live in the city that has the most potholes everywhere oh my goodness let's try going back here see what it's like Oh jeez, that was not a good idea. Oh. Gas, gas, gas. Oh jeez. Oh. No, this is not a good idea. Not a good idea to slide right now, even on purpose. Let's just try and get home. Come on, taxi, let's go. You're the only one on the road. I wouldn't trust the taxi right now. Buses more. Oh! Mm. <laughs> I felt the car kind of get weightless there. I don't know what that was. Oh, jeez. And no grip. I hate merging because I don't have any grip whatsoever. I'm spinning going uphill in third gear. Holy fuck. Not that much better. All right, fifth gear. Oh jeez, there's a semi truck behind me. You know the roads are bad when you try to hit the speed limit and it feels sketchy. See, when you're driving a car like this in the winter, you need to have the momentum to keep going. 
or else he just starts spinning everywhere. Oh, no, don't go, don't go, don't go, yo. Jesus Christ. Oh, that truck gave me, oh, jeez. Oh, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Rack spacer saved me. Oh, whoa, I was so close to the curb there. Oh, I don't know how I'm, I saved it. Holy jeez. Let's just manji the whole fucking thing, boys. All the way home. Let's manji all the way home. Let's just manji all the, holy jeez. 70 kilometer manjis, let's go. Doesn't feel like 70 kilometers though. Holy Jesus. That was maybe 50. Here's how you stop in a Z when you have no grip. You look both ways, make sure there's no cars, and just keep going. We don't stop for those. We don't stop. Oh, jeez. We go sideways. We don't stop for those. sideways through here let's go let's go come on Z you can do it you can do it oh it's getting sketchy straighten out oh yeah that was fucking sick yes that was so sick we made it home boys now here's the biggest challenge of them all going up my driveway I don't have any faith in this car but sometimes you gotta make Jesus take the wheel and then just hope you have enough momentum to climb up here. Come on. Oh, come on. Yes. Yes. Handbrake, steering wheel off, put it on the dash, let's go. All right guys, so we just made it home. Long story short, the Z is pretty sketch uh, in weather right now. This guy, I think over here, is actually stuck in the snow. Um, but the Z made it up the driveway, which I could not believe. This is definitely a momentum car. When you're driving it in the snow, you gotta have the momentum to go up like my driveway or like certain inclines and stuff like that, especially if you have like zero grip in the back. But anyways, I hope you guys um, got a little bit of an insight with what it's like to drive this car in Canada or during the winter or in snowy climates and stuff like that with summer tires. Long story short, I highly recommend if you have winter tires, put them on. It's a lot safer, especially if you don't know how to control your car very well. I had some sketchy moments just now. I don't want to say it's all fun and games, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Anyways, th that is all the time we have for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys in the next one. Peace.